did you come up with this idea of uh, having your own academy here? See, uh, what has happened is I've seen the sport um, was declining, mm. and and one of the nationals there were only about eight participants, I think so, four years back, and then I and then I thought for myself maybe it it is the dead for this sport. Oh. And then I thought, okay, I should, this is my time that, okay, I, I do a little bit investment and get more of students and show them the love of windsurfing. Wow. So today, that's why you can see there are almost about 25 people in the water. Yes, looks really nice. And Brilliant. And they are from uh, different states as well. I also believe that this is the uh, only academy of its kind in India. My full uh, aim is for a medal, as I've said to you. Yeah. Okay, I have invested almost about 12 lakhs mm -hmm. into this business um, to get a beginner's board as well as intermediate boards. Okay. So now we need a professional boards mm -hmm. which the children can take part for the uh, international events. All right. Like we have got those uh, class boards, like you know, if you want to take part in any international events, you you need a class board. Mm. So, which we don't have, mm -hmm. and those boards are co also quite expensive. Mm. Okay. Well, as I have seen all these children, because we have got the right children at the right age. Very enthusiastic children. Yeah. <laughs> so then what has happened is, uh, in this youth class, mm -hmm. you know, there is under 15 and under 17. Okay. So now it's almost about two years. There are students who's practicing, you know, every summer camp, as well as in October also. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, now we should get the right equipment. All right. Which uh, have approach to the government okay and unfortunately uh, it was during the congress time mm -hmm. and they have taken lots of my time you know to almost have, I think, some more than six to seven months i've been going and asking them like maybe they can help us because you know we can't uh, the, the children uh, age is very important It's a very so, important yeah. point that you make, Tony. But anyway, I, I have high hopes uh, for this government that uh, he's going to help us. Right. And, and my aim is, I'm quite sure that uh, for this National Games, which are going to be held up in 2014, mm. then we can this at the capital. We hope so. And yeah. For any sport, uh, government backing is absolutely important. And this is one of the most expensive sports, so yes. we hope that that will be done. Okay. I think we've got a perfect location and very good coaches like Sir Donald who have trained us and many other students in windsurfing. I think it gives us the opportunity to participate in nationals and I think that's wonderful. Um, last time in the nationals I secured the third positions since the national is an annual event and this that time... Yes. And this will be my second national and I'm hoping to secure either the first or the second position. How many championships uh, are held in windsurfing in a year? 
I think in India there's only one nationals which is held at Hawaii Beach. But besides that, there are many international championships. And do you aim to go into all uh, championship as you progress now in the sport? As I get better, I do intend to participate in international championships. Okay. I think the competition helps us to get better at the sport because when we are competing with many people, uh, we also have lots of competition and that helps us. Okay. Uh, coming to you now, you've done two nationals and uh, one international. Yeah, I, like um, the, for the Asian championships when we had to leave for the Asian Championships. Like we didn't know it all happened. Like mm -hmm. at the same time, we had just uh, you know we were not prepared that we would go for this uh, okay. championship. So yeah. So how uh, you know prepared were you actually? How ma how many hours you practiced for the Asian Championship and when? In the morning two hours and in the evening two hours. You find a lot of competition here for you to excel and learn uh, something every day. Yeah. When we uh, all go out for sailing, we learn something or another from each other, so, yeah. And do you go anywhere outside Goa and uh, practice uh, amongst, uh, practice with anybody else in the... Uh, no, it's only in Goa. So it's always here, at your own, that camp. Okay. And any word on how are the uh, young rivals uh, budding up? Do you have a good rivalry with anyone specially? Uh, like comparatively in the yeah. sport? Yeah. I'd say, uh, no. Not yet. So you are really uh, numero uno, number one as of now. Yeah, but um, there are a few people who are, you know, coming up, so okay. in the so future. We have your uh, newcomer here. This is his first camp. Uh, what's your experience like so far? It, it was a good experience, actually. You require a lot of practice. Yeah. The, the strong winds are outside the mm -hmm. sea, like. And are you able to cope up with the strong winds? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Are you loving windsurfing? Yeah, a lot. You are a regular swimmer uh, and uh, now you are uh, going into windsurfing, which is another kind of sport. So, my food is good, so swimming and also windsurfing. I have to see, if I do well in windsurfing, I would like to stay in windsurfing. Good. When you all were growing up, like, uh, there was nothing like this. Of course. Then how did you get into windsurfing? You even went on to represent <laughs> India. Yeah. So what was that time like and now the children are seemingly very lucky. See myself, Derek and Remy. These Three big biggest uh, names in sailing in, in Goa. Sailing in Goa as well as India. India. Right. And Derek seems to be one of the oldest guy into sailing. He's almost about 50 years old. And very good sailor. So it's almost about ten years different mm -hmm. to me. But when okay. we but when we sail together, it's always like you know we correct each other's mistake, and we grow up to a very good level. Mm -hmm. And as we go out for international level, uh, so in the international uh, events, we look at other people and we learn more. So, so it's always like you know the minute observation. You, yeah, the minute you take more part into events, mm. gradually you build up your talent. Yes. Uh, if if you had to get a coach uh, from uh, anywhere uh, uh, from the world, would have passed us bomb. Mm. So sure. we are lucky so that we you know we can train the students and bring them to a good level. Mm -hmm. And then of course when if somebody wants to. Yeah, go into Olympics, then we'll be needing a right coach. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then uh, maybe the government has to help, uh, you know, as I the goal is the highest, course, course, the government course, support is very important. Absolutely it's necessary. very important. Because, Just, mm, yeah. because they'll have to participate at least four championships, you know, international championships, if they want to grow. And without government support, it's not mm. uh, feasible at all. Just tell me, you mentioned these uh, two other very big names like Derek and Remy. So, yeah. what was the kind of camaraderie between you all? Or was that fierce rivalry when there See, was national championship and you we were are competing? In the water, we are uh, enemies. <laughs> but when we are off the show, we are friends and then we uh, correct each other's mistake. Uh, you know? And that's how we always uh, been together, mm. all of us. Uh, Time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Windsurfing is very uh, technical and one of the most sought after water sports over the world. Yeah. But you know, uh, we see in Goa different kind of entertainment stuff sold, uh, sold as water sport on the beaches mm -hmm. where the tourists are being, uh, what do you say, uh, provided dose of water sports. Exactly. Do you agree with uh, all that? The, the stuff problem happening is, in Goa? the problem is art, like you know, this sport is known as a water sports. Yeah. But it is completely different from the other water sports. Mm. If you see uh, in the coastal side, there are lots of speedboats, jet skis, which pollutes the sea. But this is the one of the best sports mm. around the world. It is quite famous, mm. and our dreams, our dreams are there to organize a race boat championship. Wow, yeah. that would be fun. Yeah. Mr. Anil Madgonkar is the president of Boat Sailing Association, mm. which has high hopes to organize this. Mm. And he has given me all his support to organize this event, mm -hmm. you know. Really? Uh, as well as Cesar Menez is also is the president of uh, GYA. Goa Yachting Association. Cool. They had some boats with them, which they have given uh, given it to me. Donald, he said like whatever help you need, okay. we are there for you. <laughs> so that's why, like you know, you can see all the students are going strong. But can but Goa become a real uh, hotspot for water sports? I mean, what can be done to improve water sports with tourism uh, in mind and technically proper water sports being dished out? Tourism should organize more events, which they have to, you know, so that people will be aware about it. Hmm. Now, today is the third year of my academy, hmm. and in this third year of time, I've got students from Orissa, from Bangalore, from Pune, from Bombay, and from Madhya Pradesh also. Hmm. So, can you imagine, like, you know, people have shown this talent and they would like to take part for the national. We have pretty much discussed uh, everything about uh, windsurfing here, how, how it is at present, yeah. what are the facilities here in Goa uh, where one can practice windsurfing, uh, what are the requirements of windsurfing as uh, actually practically there are not many requirements, just a little bit of physical fitness, a little bit of knowledge about swimming and then anybody from any kind of age group, uh, as we saw a girl of five year old also doing windsurfing. So practically anybody can get into, uh, get on the wind, windsurfing board and just enjoy the water sport and make the most of the summer as well as uh, have a good workout as it's a very <laughs> physical uh, sport. Yeah. Uh, Donald, thank you very much for yeah, giving all this information yeah, yeah. and hope you su succeed in your goal of bringing medals to Goa That's and true, yeah. taking Goa uh, boys course, and girls of course, of course, of to course. the highest championship. That's my dream. That's Thank you very much. Yeah.